Peace to all the inner lights out there. It's your brother Junis, aka Sajin Blue. And now tune to Signs and Numbers. Please subscribe, like the page, and share with others. Hope all you guys are doing your best out there, being your best out there, definitely. So we're going to continue the series and talk about Pisces, born on March 11th. And no for forecast as 2024, the year 2024 is going to benefit you greatly, as a matter of fact. You know, you actually fall in line almost like perfectly because those born the 11th of the month, the 14th, I would say, those two particular birthdays benefit greatly for the year 2024 overall. And this is because when you look at the year 2024, the two plus a zero plus a two plus a four it equals eight. And the eight combined with your birthday gives off a 19 vibration. And that 19 energy is representation of like divinity, the universe, God, kind of aligning with you right now at the moment where you become a radiant and anything you touch kind of turns into gold or you're just gonna feel this energy within you magnify where you just feel happy and abundant, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't say like you feel like luck is in your side, but there's just a vibrant vibrance of energy that you're just gonna feel in spirit overall. You're just gonna have a certain glow to you. People are gonna be attracted to you, drawn to you. It's just some radiance within you because of the way everything falls. And also you're gonna realize because you're born on the 11th, that energy, that two vibration, one plus the one is two, and when the year the eight, it those two numbers synchronize within the same plane, which is the mental plane, two, five, eight. So now not only you have the 19 energy, but you have that synchronicity with the eight energy in that format as well, where you're just gonna realize that like you're gonna be mentally aware on a whole other level and more focused where you're not gonna have any confusion. But as somebody at Pisces, born in love, there's rarely any confusion anyway, but you're gonna realize that you have a certain mental aptitude of sharpness within your vibration. So there's things to be mindful of. And you may also see for the year 2024, because you have this 19 alignment, this may show if you're single out there, you may have a particular interest that's gonna be, that's gonna want you, or you're gonna feel um, that need this time around that you might want that partner in your life, and this year might be that year for you. So that's something to be mindful of. Or if you're in a relationship, you're gonna realize the relationship is gonna be a lot more loving, a lot more profound and meaningful. So, because you're harmonizing with this 19 vibration, so there's things to just be mindful of for this year. But know that things will be in your favor and something to take advantage of. And it's good because Pisces themselves are not gonna have such a great year, but because you're born on the 11th, I wouldn't say not gonna have a great year, but this is one of those years where they should kind of be on the low, keep low key, because they had a positive year last year because it was the year of the Pisces last year. So just something to be mindful, just be a little bit low, low key with it and then make those manifestations happen within your life. So that's something to be mindful of. Um, if your vibration being born on March 11th, you're the type of individual that, like I said, you being born 11 energy, you realize that's a master number already. So you have the master-like quality of any way you know how to manifest what's yours. Within this physical plane right now in this world, anything you pretty much try to touch that you love and you're passionate about, if you focus in that direction, you can make it happen. And you could be like that example for other people. I wouldn't say you'd work, I'm not gonna say that you don't work well with other people, but it's kind of good to just do your own thing, be independent, because you see that one energy by itself when isolated is associated with the Leo energy, but you have two ones. So like you have like this extra sense of pride within yourself, a certain confidence where you just, know how to lead not just other people, but you could just lead yourself and through leading yourself, whatever, it's gonna set an example for other people to kind of look up to you. But you're not really gonna be the type to like take that time always to like be there and nurture and stuff like that to make sure they're doing what they had to do, although you could be a good healer, but that's a whole other level, you know, if you more tap into your spiritual nature. But that's just something to be mindful of, like kind of focusing on the things you love to do, the passion, that in itself will be remarkable enough to kind of help elevate and change other people just by seeing you as that motivator. So that's something to be mindful of as somebody born to love as a Pisces. You're gonna realize through this, this is gonna bring about great transformation within oneself, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're gonna become a new person once you realize what it is that you love to do and that and you just hone in on that. And this is when the transformation, you actually come to life. Um, know that you are an individual that could be adaptable 
Um, you're not so fixated or stubborn and you could like really shift and change when you need to embrace at any given moment. You should definitely travel when you can and take advantage of that because this is actually when you grow even more and actually learn more about yourself in the process. So I would advise traveling when you can do so. And depending on your, how you were raised up and stuff like that, I would say a lot of times, a lot of Pisces born on March 11 have that ability where they can sustain themselves and gain a certain amount of money, you know, over time and just, and live a balanced life where they could have the time to take care of themselves, treat themselves, go here and there, maybe not try internationally all the time, but I would say definitely it's in their realm that they could do something to kind of escape, you know what I'm saying, the rat race or not even be a part of it really, you know what I'm saying, with your ability you don't need to be because you have, you have what it takes to master the physical realm and be successful at it. But this one to be mindful of your energy. You'll also see if your energy, um, you realize that you may have like secret enemies or I would say haters, you know, based because of your quality and the kind of person you are. I know I'm sad to say in certain aspects and you are a cool individual, um, you're a healer and you could be soothing with your words, but at the same time, there are people out there that's not too fond of you and may hate on you in certain aspects, you know, so that's something you gotta be careful of. Or if you were the type of person born on the 11th as a Pisces and you're not mastering the things that you need to in your life, then you can settle from that master number 11 vibration and just become a two and become more playful. And then you could kind of become the hater. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So that's why I say mindful of and then get caught in all these different emotions that you're not in control of and you can let certain things get to you and become extremely sensitive, which could kind of get you in that rut and stuck. And that's not something that you want because at the end of the day, you are a visionary, you know, as a Pisces born on the 11th. And there's certain things that you got to make happen with that vision. You see what I'm saying? So you got to get the best version of you and not be the playful too and step up to the game and be that master 11 vibration quality that you're meant to be. But like sometimes if you're not doing certain things, you could pretty much downgrade your energy, <laughs> which is weird, right? And just be like, go with the flow kind of a person. And then you probably just work with different people and stuff like that. But it's not gonna suit you the way you'd want it to, you see what I'm saying? And that's definitely when the hate can come from you or from the people around you. But that's just something to also be mindful of with your vibration, you being born on the level. Um, Definitely, there, there are aspects within you that could be stubborn, you know what I'm saying? But even though you're stubborn, you know how to apply pressure. You know, you could, you could, you could embrace pressure very well. Like, there's nothing for you. It's not going to make you fold. You know, actually, you find that challenging. If the pressure is on, that's when you actually come alive even more and that fire sparks even more because, like I said, that master number 11 is a fire number. It's associated with the Leo energy one and one. So the more fire it almost entices you and you kind of like, this is what you want to challenge almost, you see what I'm saying? So if there's any type of pressure, you're gonna be stubborn and then just keep going with that steadfast energy. You see what I'm saying? So that's something to be mindful of. And also there is a spiritual quality within you um, where you do see things um, maturely on that spiritual level, but it's something that you gotta tap into or you may embrace with your gift and see that why you have it to begin with and realize that you can't like be mild with it or materialistic i should say with your gift and try to find how you could tap into an energy where it could benefit both materialistically where it could benefit you so you could be comfortable but at the same time heal others and have a valuable lesson on a spiritual level where it could be spread amongst others so you know you have that quality within you and something's going to come to mind if you be more much of leather, that's going to be beneficial where God's going to smile at the end of the day. So with this being in mind, you being born 11th as, as Pisces, you're naturally going to be compatible with other water signs, which are Pisces like yourself, Scorpios, and Cancers. But you're also going to realize that you're going to click well. There was something else I needed to say about your vibration. Um, that's fine. But anyway. With you being a water sign, you're naturally gonna be compatible with Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpios, but you're also gonna realize that you're compatible with Earth signs, which are Taurus, Capricorns, and Virgos. Maybe a lot of you guys might know that already, but you know, if somebody might be new, not into the whole astrology stuff, 
and you want to learn a thing or two. So that's just something to be mindful. Naturally, earth and water complement each other. But you're also going to see, you know, you might attract some Leo's your way because of that one energy, like I was saying before. But you're going to realize that cancers are drawn to you as one of those water signs very strongly if you're dynamic. And you may even draw Capricorns towards your energy if you're being born on the 11th as a Pisces. Um, also, you'll see that that 11 vibration, it falls within the mental plane. So yeah, it falls within the mental plane, like I was saying, the 258. So you're gonna see click wall two vibrations, like somebody born the second of the month, the 20th of the month, those are two vibrations, the 29. Also somebody born the fifth of the month, the 14th or 23rd, those are your five vibrations. Or you'll see your click wall, somebody born the eighth, the 17th or 26th, those are your eight vibrations. So two, five, eights, are usually consistent with your life within your life in some shape or form you're going to realize depending on what you're doing in your life you know if you work in a group setting or if you have an audience or you're like whatever it is you you're a performer and maybe your biggest fans may have be these numbers that always vibrate towards your particular energy or when you play for a team your teammates may have these particular numbers around you all the time so that just sounds to be mindful of you know being born on the level as a pisces and this could also go with you know, classmates You'll see it'll be like twos, fives, and eights very consistently within your life. Your parents, siblings. That just tends to be mindful of just how the universe constructs it. Um, you also see as well on the spiritual level, you have a strong power of connection. If you were to encounter somebody born on the 11th like yourself, you know, master number 11 for master number 11, that's a powerful connection. Master number 22, that's also a powerful connection for your vibration. Also, somebody born on the eight specifically. I know I said like the, what should we call it? I said like the eight vibration already falls within the mental plane, but it is a powerful connection with your energy on the spiritual level. So there's just something to be mindful of. Those born the 11th of the month, the 22nd of the month, and somebody born the 8th of the month is going to be a powerful connection with you as a Pisces being born on March 11th. So there's just things to be mindful of. All right, brothers and sisters, thank you for tuning in to Signs and Numbers. Your brother Junus, a.k.a. Sag and Blue. Remember to subscribe, like the page, share with others. Hope you guys enjoyed the content, definitely. Do your best out there. Be your best out there. But most importantly, let your inner light shine. Junus.